Hi, howdy, hello, my name is Doe. Hope we're doing good. If you guys don't already, check out my second YouTube channel and TikTok for other content I post daily. Today, I wanna to go over some of the changes I wanna have happen to the Axe if they ever refresh it, which I think they will. Maybe not next, but eventually. But I'm doing this because we all, well, some of us have seen the Chainblade refresh if we play the game, and it's not very good, like, at all. Like, probably one of the only things that changed for the better IMO is Reaper's Dance is pretty, is cooler. It's not perfect, though. Like when you when you use Reaper's Dance, it makes a dot that does damage. The more dots you have active, when it explodes, it does more damage. That's pretty cool. That's interesting. Although Reaper's Dance itself is just still scuffed. So what with the axe would even need to be changed in the first place? Also, I really love how in this area, all I'm here is people just going absolutely bonkers on the monsters. But what needs to be changed to make the weapon better? I think the most obvious thing is Resolve. If you guys don't know what Resolve is, can I hop this? Thank you. Resolve is whenever you charge an attack perfectly even though they made it easy now now you don't even have to let it go you just keep charging and you just resolve an attack when you resolve an attack you get super armor and that means you won't get knocked back but you take full damage from resolving an attack and you lose things like predator if you resolve an attack but that shouldn't be the case what's gonna happen is if you resolve certain attacks you'll just die and not even like some attacks a lot of attacks if you're doing heroic escalation you're gonna die if you have disciplined you're gonna die and it doesn't make it rewarding to use that mechanic whatsoever in end game unless you're playing a really tanky build but you shouldn't have to play a tanky build to use a poor mechanic on the weapon so resolve should get some kind of buff in that regard maybe if you resolve an attack you get damage reduction and then after if you take damage you also get life still for a duration basically like a, a budget parasitic i guess something Thing to that extent giving you a defensive mechanic when you resolve an attack and also if you resolve an attack you shouldn't lose predator if you're using it because then you just won't ever run predator or you just won't resolve attacks which again is whack hi it's been like eight hours i made a shake pretty good i'll check it later we got vertical ripper horizontal edge and you also have two other combos because a combo crossover you have the first two attacks and vertical ripper they are pretty much okay where they are although vertical ripper is kind of underwhelming it builds good meter don't get me wrong but it takes a lot to even be useful like there's a lot of attacks and it takes a lot of stamina it doesn't really have any like real umph to it they're really like there's a lot of build up but you're not really building up to anything you're not getting more attack speed you're not getting more damage the more you hit it's just underwhelming overall and it takes a lot to even use it in the first place so it's just uh overall just like whack like why is it whack like that combos are in a decent spot i just wish there was more spectacle to them and that's pretty much all i have to say for that now as far as your specials go flight of ruin this could be a lot cooler and i would say it's the least used special which i'm not sure if the goal is to have the first bus you unlock be the least used but in this case it is so you throw your axe does damage while it spins you can call it back or have a comeback and you slam this is a lot a lot a bit underwhelming my suggestion is when you throw the axe and you have a spin, make that give you a buff. The more hits you land with that spin, when you call it back to yourself, you unleash some kind of attack, whether it's trimmers, which is like the staple in Nautilus, I guess. Just slap trimmers on it, boom. Make it easier to run around with Flight of Ruin so you can actually have the flight aspect of it. Grim Onslaught. There's not really a whole lot to be changed with this special, but it is pretty bland because you throw your axe, you catch your axe, that's it. Bing bong. There's no more to this special. There really isn't any more creativity to be had. And that's a problem. Solutions? I got none. I'm just here to make the video. Relentless Onslaught is basically Grim Onslaught, but you can throw your axe two more times. So you got bing. Boom. And then bong. It's, it's something, but it's just not super creative because, again, it's just Grim Onslaught, but you can throw it more often. Why not just remove the special entirely and add a modifier that lets you do something in some way or fashion that then lets you reset your cooldown or lower your cooldown for Grim Onslaught, and you can throw Grim Onslaught more often? That is way cooler than Relentless Onslaught. But yeah, moving on from that, we have modifiers, which... The first modifier is one of the worst in the game IMO because of what it does. Perfectly charged attacks grant plus 15 meter on hit. Okay, I guess it's not in the right, nothing like, you know, call home about, but no longer grant resolve. This is a really, really bad game design, if you ask me. One of the worst things you can do in the game because removing resolve, although it's not a great aspect of the axe, a core identity to the weapon. So to have a modifier that removes a core identity of the axe is just flat out silly, lazy, and kind of stupid. So I don't think that this was ever a good idea and it was kind of a lazy addition to the game, and it was done because they needed more trial stuff. Was it for trials or mastery? One of the two. Lightweight haft. Again, pretty dumb. I, I, there's not really much else I can say here, because look at this. Move speed while charging horizontal attacks is now increased instead of decreased and costs no stamina to maintain. They're talking about this. 
There's a whole ass modifier devoted to this. Why not just make it so it's a part of the weapon itself to some capacity? When you charge your axe, the more you charge it, the faster you then begin to move and have a cap, sure. But why not just have that be a part of the weapon? Because that is the most boring modifier I could possibly imagine. Overcharge cylinder. This is not a very interesting modifier, but it makes up for what it lacks in interesting aspects by just giving you more damage because it gives you an extra stack of determination. Instead of three, you have four stacks now or the ability to have them. Whenever you have something that isn't super viable, but is really fun, that's fine. Or in this case, we have something that isn't super interesting, but is very viable because of the damage, then it's also fine. I think there should be maybe some better way to implement it, give it a extra benefit. But if you do that, it'd be too powerful. So it's kind of hard to really go about that. Railsport Canteen, tonics consumed while your axe is thrown have plus 50% effectiveness. It's a thing. It's not bad. It's uh, definitely more interesting than the first two modifiers, if I'm being honest. But there isn't really a ton to do with it because you just throw your axe, pop potions. That's it. Then you have Volto Axe Core. This has the most potential to be a really cool modifier. So when you charge your attacks, they deal AoE damage. I feel like with this, there should be a thing where when you charge your attacks and you deal AoE damage, you get stacks. And once you reach enough stacks, you can then do an actual charged attack, maybe a lightning attack of some sort that can AoE the behemoths you're attacking. That would be sick, and that would give th that just give it so much more interesting gameplay potential. It would reward you for your positioning and give you a really cool spectacle of an attack whenever you play it correctly. Or you, it's not even like play correctly, but like if you played really well, you'd get the benefit faster, I guess. That would be like the best modifier for the axe hands down, because it'd be more interesting than every other option we have. There's no competition whatsoever, if that was the case. Just make it so either you can upgrade modifiers or make the modifiers more interesting on their own in their own way, because there really isn't any choice here. There's overcharged cylinder, volatile axe core, and maybe rail sports canteen. You will never use lightweight. You'll never use axe core if you're being serious in any capacity. That is the video I'm going to make in hopes that someone will heed my call. If anything, I'm just making this to, to show that, hey, I tried. I'm not expecting anyone to watch this really, like from Phoenix Labs, but if they do, gr great. Uh, hopefully you guys don't make acts like chain blades because that'd be really bad. Chain blades are rough, man. Some people like them and I'm glad they do, but as it stands, it just didn't really land well with the majority of players. And you want a refresh to land well with the majority of players. So that's the video. Hope you guys liked it. Be sure to check out my second YouTube channel. I'm saying it again because I, I'd appreciate y'all. Just look, look at it. Give it a gander. I'm, I post on TikTok. People like it there. You might like it too. Use my credit code, which is Odo in the Epic Game Store. If you want, it supports me very greatly. I really appreciate that. And I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Odo. Ernet, have a beautiful day. Catch you guys later. Peace.